Okay, we are on lesson 20 homework for module four, and we're starting with number one. Convert, show your work, express your answers as a mixed number. The first one's coming for us. Okay, so we're going to go to B, and we're looking at one and one fourth feet, one and a quarter feet equals how many yards? So I take that original measurement, and that first step is important. I want to get organized. One and a quarter feet equals one and a quarter times one foot. This is where we do my conversion. And I have two thoughts in my head. I'm converting to yards, and I'm wondering if one foot equals three yards, or one foot equals one third of a yard. That's what I get mixed up. So I make a quick tape diagram just to see what it looks like. And I see that one foot is not equal to three yards, it's equal to one third of a yard. I then turn my mixed number into an improper fraction. And I look for cross simplifying five and three do not have any common factors other than one, and one and four don't have any common factors other than one. So I'm simply going to multiply. 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times 3 is 12. That's its simplest form. Final answer of 5 twelfths of a yard. C is 3 and 5 6 feet equals how many inches? So again, I'm going to take that 3 and 5 6 feet and make it 3 and 5 6 times 1 foot. That gets me off on the right foot. Step. My next step is to, to take that one foot and convert it to inches. Now I need to think to myself, I know there's 12 inches in a foot. Am I thinking that it is one twelfth of an inch or 12 inches in a foot? This equals that. One foot, 12 inches. It's got to be equal from this conversion to that. One foot is equal to 12 inches. Make sure you do that before you go any further. Okay, you can distribute 3 and 5, 6 times 12. I like to turn it into an improper fraction. You're going to multiply denominator times 3 is 18 and then add your numerator of 5. That would be 23 6. And I think of that 12 inches as 12 holes or 12 over 1. From there, I can cross simplify because 6 and 12 have a common factor of 6. I can divide 6 by 6 and get 1, and divide 12 by 6 and get 2. 23 and 1 only have a common factor of 1, so they're done. I then multiply my numerators, 23 times 2 is 46, and multiply my denominators, 1 times 1 is 1. 3 and 5, 6 feet equals 46 inches. D, 7 and a half pints equals how many quarts? First step is important, 7 and a half times 1 pint, my original unit. I'm then going to convert it to quarts. I'm not sure how many quarts equal a pint. So I go to my conversion chart and I do a quick drawing. And I see in my conversion chart that two pints is equal to a quart. This visual helps me to think of what the conversion is going to be to quarts. And I see that one pint is equal to not two quarts, but a half a quart. That's how I decide what to put there. One pint is equal to a half a quart. From there, I'm going to change my seven and a half into a improper into an improper fraction by multiplying denominator times seven is fourteen and adding my numerator for fifteen over two. 
minus my one half quart is equal to, there's nothing to cross simplify, so 15 quarts. I then turn that back into a mixed number by dividing 15 by 4. 15 by 4 is 3, with 3 left over, 3 and 3 fourths quarts. I have 4 and 3 tenths hours equals how many minutes? First step is important. 4 and 3 tenths times 1 hour. I then take the 4 and 3 tenths and convert it to minutes. Well, how many minutes are in an hour? Is it 1 60th or 60 minutes in one hour? 60 minutes equals one hour. Okay, but then I'm going to continue. Again, you can distribute and do 4 times 60 and 3 tenths times 60. But I like to turn it into an improper, fra improper fraction. 10 times 4 is 40, plus 3 is 43 tenths. Times my 60, but I look at 60 as a fraction. I can cross simplify here, because 10 and 60 have a common factor of 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. And 60 divided by 10 is 6. I now have 43 times 6 on the top. And I'll do some side work for that. It's 258. 1 times 1 as my denominator is 1. 258 minutes. Final answer. And the last, letter F. For number one is 33 months equals how many years? Start off on the right foot. 33 times one month. 33 times, now I have to convert it to years. So I need to say to myself, I know there are 12 months in a year. So I need to say, is it one month equals 12 years? or one twelfth of a year. Well, certainly one month does not equal twelve years, so I do not want to multiply by twelve. One month is equal to one twelfth of a year. So I have thirty-three times one divided by twelve. Thirty-three twelfths. And I'm going to have to do a little standard algorithm, 33 divided by 12, to get 2, with 9 twelfths left over. 2 and 9 twelfths simplifies by dividing top and bottom by a magic number 1, 3 over 3, to 2 and 3 fourths. 33 months is 2 and 3 fourths years.